So about four years ago, we were looking at the changes in um, teaching and um, there was less, more focus on looking at social, emotional awareness and wellness in the classroom. There's a focus on physical literacy and mental health and well-being. There are four steps to the sequence. Uh, one, the first one is move, the second one is hold, breathe and pause. So we put these four steps together and came up with the focus sequence. It's helping or supporting children in the classroom to be ready to participate with their peers, to engage in tasks, to play, to be able to take risks, to be able to care for themselves, especially when they are faced with a stressor and knowing how to deal with the stressor and regaining their sense of uh, regulation. So there was a lot of feedback from the teachers and they would come back to us and say, well, after the sequence, we were able to um, focus on our printing for 10 minutes longer than they had done before. Some teachers were telling us about individual students and how they managed to ask for a break, articulate what they're feeling, go into a focus sequence and come back and rejoin their classrooms and continue working. The sequence is like my favorite thing to do because it makes me be calm and be re really ready to learn. It like helps me learn better and it, it helps my brain I like be calm. Every time if you are like, like mad or sad or angry, you should do the did I could breathe one. It makes you super calm. Our staff decided together that we would do it for two weeks. And then we went back to our staff and said, what do you think? And then we got the thumbs up. Now our, our staff do it whenever they feel it's necessary in the classroom. We had a parent who came to us the other day and said that her child is doing this four-step program. <laughs> and you sit there and you go, it's great because it's helping her calm down before she goes to bed. So we're even seeing parents coming to us with the wording for the sequence. 